my goodness, that made my eye twitch. Why would you eat that? Hey Gigglers, you really delivered with your weird food combos and I'm about to dive in to try them. Will these bizarre bites be a hit or a total mess? Stick around to see my genuine reaction to your crazy culinary creations. Say that five times fast. Relax. The ha-has, they start right now. Alright, so I paired this up into six different categories. The first category being pizza. The second category being cottage cheese. The third category being peanut butter. The fourth category being pickles. The fifth category being just wrong, like just wrong, like that's, that should not be a pairing. And the sixth category being dessert. In category two is cottage cheese and tuna. I haven't even mixed it together yet. And my cats are circling like sharks at my feet. This one actually sounds like it's gonna be pretty good. It looks kinda like a, kinda like tuna casserole or tuna salad. Like a tuna salad sandwich, like what you would get with a tuna salad sandwich. It smells like cottage cheese and tuna. It tastes okay. I mean, I guess what you would expect tuna and cottage cheese mixed together to taste like. It tastes like tuna and cottage cheese. It leaves kind of a it's got a chewy texture. Really not bad. I would actually eat that again. <laughs> Next up is cottage cheese and pickles. Which I love pickles and I love cottage cheese. So let's see if the two pair well. It looks like a pickle dipped in cottage cheese. It smells like pickle. Like the pickle overwhelms the cottage cheese. That's all you can really smell is the dill. Now for the taste. Overall, it doesn't taste bad. It's not disgusting. It tastes okay. The crunch is really loud in my mouth or in my ears. Texture wise, well it's crunchy and soft all at the same time. Um, it's not too bad. Definitely not too bad. Next up in category four, pickles. Pickles and nacho cheese. And this one doesn't doesn't sound like it would be overly disgusting. I mean if you put pickles on your cheeseburger this might basically be the same thing. It looks like a pickle dipped in nacho cheese. It smells interesting. It smells... Well, it smells like a gas station when they've made fresh nacho cheese. If it's, if it's next to the pickled jalapenos, this is basically what that smells like. That's the worst thing we've tried so far. Well, you primarily just taste the nacho cheese. The mouthfeel is kind of, I don't know, kind of leaves like a film in your mouth. It leaves an aftertaste. That one's, um, that one's not great. This next one, this one won't disappoint, but it's my suggestion. It's one that I've wanted to try for a while because it seems ridiculous. We're doing the OG Chamoy pickle, not that kit that you buy online nowadays that has all the other added crap. Chamoy, tahine, fruit by the foot, and fruit roll up. So, okay. So. Let's get all of our parts ready here. Mmm, blue raspberry. It's my favorite. Okay. Let me see here. Ow. 
We had to go like three different stores to find this chimoy. That's a lie. We only had to go to two, but still. We would have gone to three, maybe four. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put some on the inside here. Because technically you're supposed to do it with a whole pickle, but we couldn't find good whole pickles. Mmm, it's magically delicious. I'm a little worried about what I'm fixing to put in my mouth, y'all. It's very sticky. It looks disgusting. You didn't see that. That didn't happen. We've got more chamoy. So I'm gonna just kind of roll this in. Whoever created this, you were crazy. You must have had the drunken munchies or something. All right. Here goes nothing. Here's to the OG chamoy pickle. That'll put a pucker in your butt. Wow. Okay, so obviously it looks just horrendous. This looks this looks like a five year old was playing with her food. It smells like plastic. If I'm being honest, it smells like plastic. It is a total shock to all of your senses. I mean, I don't know why anyone would go in for a second bite, but here we are. And I'm about to. It tastes... Whoa! It tastes like I just licked the inside of a lemon. And the mouthful, well, it's... It's very sticky. The fruit by the foot or fruit roll up or the mixture of both is basically stuck to my teeth now. And it leaves this tang in your mouth. And it sounds like a pickle when you bite it. And it's very chewy. I don't even know why I'm licking my fingers. That is that is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All I can say is wow. The one I think is going to be the nastiest, that's the one we're going to get out of the way right now. And that's peanut butter and mayo. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would want to mix the two, but maybe they weren't in their right mind. Who knows? And some peanut butter. ASMR? ASMR. Doesn't it sound gross? Not even going to be the grossest thing I do all day. Okay, here we go, peanut butter and mayo sandwich. I think I'm going to cut it in half and see if my husband, when he gets home, is brave enough to try it. Here you go, here goes nothing. It looks basically like, it looks like peanut butter on bread, on two pieces of bread. It smells like just peanut butter. The peanut, you can't even smell the mayo. And here we go. Initially, I could taste the mayonnaise, but now really all I smell, all I taste is the is the peanut butter. So the peanut butter kind of overpowers it. It basically tastes like you're eating just a peanut butter sandwich. 
maybe dull down just a little bit. Overall, not too bad. I wouldn't go out of my way to get one, but um, as far as texture goes, it tastes like you're eating just a plain peanut butter sandwich. It leaves kind of a peanut butter residue in your mouth. If you've ever had peanut butter jelly sandwiches, you know exactly what it what it what it does to your mouth. And there's no sound. Other than Alexa. Next up in the peanut butter category is a peanut butter, banana, and jalapeno chip sandwich. How exciting. <laughs> Just kidding. I wonder if I'm going to have a tummy ache after all this is said and done. If you don't know how to peel a banana properly, let me show you. So you take it from the bottom, you stick your thumbnail in there, and you peel. The more you know, right? Alright. I don't feel like this is going to be that bad. I feel like it's probably going to be pretty delicious, actually. So far, it smells like bananas, which I guess is a good thing, considering I'm cutting a banana. If I couldn't smell that, then there would be something wrong with me. I, was, I would probably be having a stroke. After eating that chamoy pickle, that's a possibility. Guys, that's no joke. I would not recommend anyone over the age of 30 to try that. It's just... I guess some people like it. It's not, it's not for everyone, though, I can tell you that. <laughs> this is definitely a messy video. I hope some of you guys will actually like it. You have no idea how much how much prep work it took to get all this stuff going for you. Alright. So we got our peanut butter, which is now I can smell peanut butter and I can smell banana. And then I was supposed to do this on the side, but I figured why not why not make it interesting and put the chips right on the sandwich? Vicky's jalapeno chips. If you know, you know. I don't know if that's an Arizona thing or if it's a United States thing. I don't know. But if you've never tried Vicky's jalapeno kettle cooked chips, not sponsored by the way, they're just delicious. All right. It sounds like a crunch. It looks like banana chip peanut butter sandwich. And really all I can smell at the moment is the bread. Maybe with a little bit of the banana. I mean, I can taste all the things. I can taste the chips. I can taste the peanut butter, and I can definitely taste the bananas. As far as texture goes, it's it's kind of weird, but not what you would. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect the texture to be any different with these three items mixed together. And it's got a little bit of the, a little bit of heat from the the jalapeno chips. Truthfully, it's not that bad. Would I order it at a restaurant? Absolutely not. If I was drunk enough, I might make another one. Or mouthfeel. It feels like you, um, like you dipped chips in some peanut butter and ate that. Overall, not too bad. Now we're fixing to head into some pretty gross stuff, though. We're gonna move on to the just wrong category. Just the category I'm not looking the most forward to. I have a bucket just in case. Because, well, my good friend Laura decided to give me a combination that I'm just super scared to even try. But I'm going to face my fears 
not the biggest fan of sardines and that's what it includes so I hope you guys are all ready for this because I am definitely not before I get into the just wrong category if you're enjoying this video give me a like and leave your suggested um, weird food combos in the comment section below so that I know that I should make another one of these videos okay back to the fun I'm gonna get the most disgusting one out of the way Thanks for this, Laura, by the way. Appreciate it. Hopefully it doesn't really matter. She said that I needed Ritz crackers. We didn't want to buy a whole thing of Ritz crackers. We have townhouse crackers, and that's just going to have to be okay. This one, this one just isn't right. You're not right. Well, it looks like little fish, which I'm okay with fish. The part I have the hardest time with is that that's the whole fish. It's the whole shooting shebang, and that's just why. So, the suggestion from Laura is sardines and yellow mustard on crackers with a dab of hot sauce. So we got our yellow mustard, we got our cracker, we got our hot sauce. Honestly, I'm really just not looking forward to this one. At all. At all, at all, at all. Gross. People actually eat these? Oh. If you can't tell by the look on my face, I am thoroughly disgusted. Absolutely. Just thoroughly grossed out. You you done you done it for me. Chica, you 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 straight up made it. I'm grossed out. I want to just get this one over with. Should have should have ripped the band-aid off and started with this one just to get it out of the way. Uh-uh. No. Move. My cats are pretty, uh, pretty happy about it. Oh, I get it. You have to cover the sardine and all this stuff just to get it down, don't you? Let me know if I'm right, Laura. <laughs> I put two dabs of hot sauce because, well, I like hot sauce. Lord help me. Here it goes. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> Why? Absolutely not. No. That's just... Well, that's why it's in the just wrong category. Because, my goodness, that made my eye twitch. Why would you eat that? Uh-uh. You ain't right. You ain't right. Oh. My hair didn't even like it. Like, I could feel the, the disgust all the way into my hair. It's just not right. As far as looks went, well, it was disgusting. I, I could barely look at it. Smell. All I could smell was mustard. Taste. Obviously disgusting. It's even, like, I have an aftertaste in my mouth that I kind of wish I had something to wash it down with. Mouthfeel, texture, just probably adds to my disgust. The crunch of the whole fish. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. That was... I'm definitely going to have a bellyache later. This was not, not cool. Tune in next week to get part two of this video. Just so you guys don't think I'm a pansy. That's a big glob of ketchup right there. Alright, chocolate covered bacon.
time I've ever tried them, so... Before you go, did, did you know that there's more to life than weird food combos? Wait until you see the hilarious infomercials I've cooked up for some bizarre products. Click on the videos popping up during the bloopers to dive into the fun. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you over there. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. Now, enjoy some bloopers. Luckily, my husband says he'll eat them. And if he won't, we got three cats. I'm sure they will oblige. Uh. Oh, yeah, my tummy. My tummy is not happy right now. It's like you starved us and then you fed us that crap. You guys, I don't know what you're trying to do to me, but save a little for my honey. He might like it. He might like it. Why am I taking another bite if my tummy's upset? Because I'm crazy. You guys, my honey's on his own for dinner tonight. I mean, what are you all trying to do to me? Seriously.